what we have done here in America is offer the most opportunity, the most people in the history of civilization, period. It's undeniable, undeniable. However, there is a strain of people in this country who don't like America. And you know them. They're on display in the Democratic debates. Those Democrats will tell you they're loyal Americans, but they don't like America as it is. They want to drastically change everything in this country. And I don't mind that because that's what the Constitution is all about. You have freedom of choice, freedom of speech, freedom of thought. It doesn't bother me. Now, I think those people are desperately wrong, but do I get angry about it? No. I get angry about dishonest tactics, um, anti-democratic behavior, but if you want to think America's bad, go ahead. I mean, as a historian, I know you're wrong and I can prove it. I'll just knock you out in a debate because it's just accomplishment after accomplishment after accomplishment. Yes, there's slavery. Yes, women didn't have the right to vote till 1920. Yeah, okay. No nation's perfect. They were not forward thinking in some areas, the founding fathers. But all in all, on performance, <laughs> come on. There's nobody comes close. See, if, if you don't think America's a noble nation, then you don't know anything about the Civil War and the tremendous suffering on the part of the Union forces to free the slaves. You don't know anything about World War I and II. Okay? You don't know anything about the Vietnam War, where we tried to keep people free in South Vietnam, who are now communists. You don't know anything about South Korea. You don't know anything about the Marshall Plan. You don't know anything, period.